uh, the fact is that the uh, uh, we get attached to those brands because we believe in them. We believe in a particular uh, product. Um, we also it also motivates the buyer. People get motivated when they see a particular brand and they use that brand, they're loyal to that brand, they will in fact continue to buy that particular brand. And that's very, very true of uh, um, commercial products that we find is, again, my example of Supermax. We usually stay with the same cereals, we stay with the same kind of detergents, and on and on. And then finally it solidifies customer loyalty because it gives us a way of establishing that bridge between the product and the customer. It's the same thing in terms of how you know people, how you identify them, by their nickname or their full name. The identity that we give them, that, that enables us to develop a relationship with them. It's the same thing with a product or a service. Branding decision. Now, there are many branding decisions that you have to make. The work that you have to do in branding is extensive. And we're going to go through all the various kinds of issues you have to address here. Beginning with, of course, the branding decision. <coughs> do you require a strong brand? Are you in a market? Are you in a, a region? Are you in a particular industry that requires strong branding and recognizable identity? Does the product service require legal protection from imitation? <coughs> That's just not the question. First of all, when you're, if you're a if you have a brand established, you should have had at one time did research to see whether or not anyone else is using your logo type or your name somewhere. I'll tell you right now, they're probably somewhere out there, and if they've already copyrighted it, trademarked it, then you've got a problem. So you have to make sure that in fact uh, you have legal rights to that, that trademark. Does the producer want to emphasize a certain quality level in the offer? Where are you on the quality spectrum? Where do you want to position yourself? Now you may say, well, as you know, as nonprofit organizations, most of us generally try to provide the best quality we can. But we know that quality is a, a point on the spectrum that you can establish based on what your resources are, what the market demands. 